And King High School students, teachers, and staff members mourning the loss of one of their own. Thanks for joining us tonight. We begin with one of those heartbreaking stories that just didn't need to happen. A speeding driver hit and killed a 16 year old girl and put another student in the hospital. That's right. It happened near King High School this afternoon. Chris Six News anchor Priscilla Torres joins us live in the newsroom with the story. Priscilla, take us back here. What happened? Well, Stephanie, three girls were walking in the crosswalk just before five this evening when police say a man was speeding, ran the red light and hit two of those girls. It's something that you probably will like I'll stick with me for a while. A senior at King High School, Alexis Baxter says she can't believe two of her classmates were just walking home from school when they were hit by an SUV. Um, it's it's really shocking to be honest because you would think that you never have to see this or witness this in general, especially if it's your own student and you're at King High School. The teen girls were using a crosswalk when police say the driver, a 42 year old man, was speeding and ran the red light hitting them. The 16 year old girl died at the scene. A 15 year old girl was rushed to the hospital. I go out for the family for sure, you know, especially the ones that are over there, you know, that come home and say that your daughter just went to school to learn. And then here she, you have to get a call that she's sitting here in a body bag and you never see her again. Police say the driver left the scene immediately after the accident, but was found a short time later. As for students at King High School, they have some advice for drivers out there. They should take their time and slow down when they see kids or school zones. If you're driving on the streets or anything, just be precautious. Don't, don't think that you can speed fast, it's just for fun. I mean, your one simple decision you choose that goes against the law can cost someone a life. As far as the second teen girl that was involved in this accident, she is said to be critical but stable condition. We did hear from CCISD who sent out a statement earlier. They will be offering crisis counseling for students and staff. As for the suspect, he will be facing multiple charges, including an, causing an accident involving death and causing an accident involving injury. Reporting in the newsroom, Priscilla Torres, Chris 6 News.